Good morning, children. Today we are going to learn moral science of class two, lesson nine, nine good habits. So, children, our topic is good habits. So, children, do you know what are the good habits? Getting up early in the morning, doing the things on time, taking bath every day. Sharing our things, for example, sharing our pencil. If somebody is not having pencil, we have to share it. Going to school on time. So children, there are so many good habits. So, in this lesson, we are going to learn about to stay fit and healthy to stay fit and healthy about the good healthy food about the healthy food so children we know that health is wealth health is wealth so for enjoying life good health is must for enjoying life good health is must so children from where we get healthy food, so we will be healthy. Your answer will be that father brings from the market. But have you thought from where this food item comes from? So children, first farmers sow the crops in the field. Next, he and his family take care of the crop until it is harvested. And after that, it comes into the market. Then only our parents are go to the market and they can buy the things of daily uses. Fruits, biscuits, many things. So, children, we should eat the healthy and delicious food at home. What kind of food should we eat? Healthy and delicious food. So, children, to keep ourselves healthy, we have to follow some important points. See here, I have written down some important points to stay fit and healthy. First point is wash your hands before eating things. We should wash our hands before eating things. Second is always eat clean food. We should eat clean food. Wash the fruits before eating. Before eating, we have to wash the fruits. Never eat without washing the fruit. Always drink clean and pure water. We should drink pure and clean water. Never buy rotten food. So children, here some points are there you have to remember. Okay? Now, let us come to the second point. Some good table manners. Some good table manners. You may be thinking, what are the good table manners? Wash your hands before and after every meal. Wash your hands before and after every meal. We have to wash our hands with water. Chew the food properly. Chew the food properly. Avoid talking while eating. We should not talk while eating. Don't waste food. We should not waste food. Again, there are some more points are there about the table manners. We have to use napkin. We have to keep napkin. We have to put napkin on our lap. 
so that food will not drop on in our cloth second one is when you need some more food suppose you are eating in the table many people are sitting in the table if you want some more rice so you have to use excuse me and i have to ask excuse me may i have some please pass the bowl of rice like that you have to ask immediately don't take it the bowl of rice and when you finish eating you have to wait for others also see whether your father or mother they have finished or not after eating don't move away from there and when you are getting up you have to say excuse me then only you get up from the table so children these are the sir table manners i have written down on the blackboard so you have to learn it so children related this i would like to tell you a short story about the good habit we have to eat the good habit good healthy food so one story is that and the one day reema reema and sunita there were two friends reema and sunita they were boy they were coming back from the school they are coming back from the school on the way reema felt very hungry reema felt very hungry she could not control her hunger she could not control as she saw and she for she saw on the way some food they were selling so she ate some outside food she bought and ate it after few minutes her, her she her stomach was paining her stomach pain started she could not bear it so when parents saw her automatic when our parents saw her, us if you are not well they usually take us to the hospital so like that only reema's parents also they took her to the doctor they took her to the doctor and doctor gave her some bitter medicine so what kind of medicine doctor gave doctor gave her bitter medicine so children do you like bitter medicine no nobody likes bitter medicine isn't it so has it only reema also doesn't like to take this bitter medicine so doctor told her reema if you don't want to take this bitter medicine you have to follow the advice of your parents or elders so reema said yes doctor akka i from today onwards i follow the advice of my parents and i will never eat outside and road side food so from that day only reema promised to her parents that i will never eat uncovered food i will never eat uncovered food so children the moral of the story is that good food is the key to good health good food is the key to good health so what is the moral of the story moral of the story is that good food is the key to good health so children please you also always eat healthy food good food okay never eat uncovered food okay i think you have understood so once again you also read lesson then you will understand better thank you